Hello everybody, are you ready for a quick little episode into the Woodland Realm and the ring quest of Legolas uh, the Conqueror? Well, he's gotten himself stuck on Imladris for now, but um, let's see if next turn doesn't bring us closer to a state that is desired. Battle stations! Marauder Chief Hektak comes along. And he's brought half trolls. That's just about the most important thing here today. Either way, Dane's halls will be defended yet again. And we know how to do it. Put them down. Our elves cheer, and so do we. Let's see who we have out on the walls at the moment. What? No, no, no. Those are not the people we want down there. We want the wardens in here where they can actually make a difference to things. Hmm. What we want out there are... Okay, what what are these? Okay, Woodland Sentinels. You know what? That is excellent. I want those out, out there. That's good. But apparently, we can't place them there ourselves. Come on. That is just... Neh. Anyhow. <sighs> okay, these two are the wall archers. Then we have the non-wall archers. Then we have the horse archers. There are missile troops. Of the javelin variety. And with plenty of those. That'll sort of be team number three. Yes, we come from the woodland realm. And then we have some Elven Defenders in the front lines. Some like this will be useful, he says, hoping, hand on heart. And the Woodland Sentinels run out immediately. And the other Sentinels shoot immediately. And the Towers do too. How lovely. Um, so, who are you going to shoot at today, dear archers? Black Shield Warriors? Nah. Raiders? That's a bit better. People without as much armor. That is sort of the goal. Come on, get in there, everybody. No standing on ceremony here. Why, why, why are you standing there at the door? Okay, good. He got inside. He got inside. Finally. Or she. Occasionally it can be difficult to tell. Um. Hmm. They've got themselves a lot of raiders. You coming out? Well, you've activated the tower. Already there. We're doing some good. Where do we have the half trolls? Because they're actually kind of important to bring down. It must be over here somewhere. Hunters, 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 scouts. Ah, half trolls. There they are. To the point where you could actually mm, almost hit them. Well, eventually you can. These guys, they can hit them already. And I do want them to. So do it. Load up your bows and shoot them. 
fire it away. Oh yeah, Mountain Orc Hunters, that's a good target there. This Black Shield Warband and those, yeah, 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 exactly. That's, uh, that's who we will want to be shooting at the moment. How are you guys doing with your bows? Are you firing them properly? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Um... Okay. Maybe we'll want you guys over here. Because then you can kind of shoot the half trolls in the back. Right there. Yeah, you guys just keep shooting the enemy over there. That's good. Keep at them. Come on. You're not going to do anything? No. Okay, so we're taking you back inside now. Did those arrows go through the wall? That's amazing! We have stone piercing walls! Uh, stone piercing walls. Stone piercing arrows, everybody! Okay, let's get them back inside. Do we take any of the half trolls though? Hmm. Well, we hit one of them, <laughs> for sure. That's all we know, apparently. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates. Licorice tea, give me strength. Oh, yeah. This licorice tea will give me strength. Hmm. The enemy's ram has Very nice. The gates. Very nice, very nice. You should get yourself one too. Um. The enemy have the walls. Come on. Look to our defense, or all will be lost. Give it a good go. Everybody, load up your bows, and if you have to stand there and shoot, that's okay with me. So far, that's a lot of death. Now, we're losing our defenders at a quite alarming pace, but be not afeared, my friends. Luxech has already fallen, and now there's only the Prince of the Realm left. He will not be there long. The half trolls are beginning to fall. And oh, it is good to see. We come from Mirkwood. The enemy are badly bloodied. <laughs> it is a bed. barrage of biblical proportions. Stay alert. Launch the attack. We protect the Elven lands. Launch the attack. Stay on guard. Hold them, my friends. Hold them. Hold them right there. Wonderful. Okay. Mm. Load up another one. Aim straight down the middle, please. The fewer we lose to friendly fire, the better. Obviously. They shall not feel welcome here. I promise you that, everybody.
we're sort of losing more troops and melee or more of our troops to our own arrows than not I think so let's just lure them inside mm hmm the mountain guard is getting a little close to us is there general among them Not that I can see. Hmm. Archers oh, of Mirkwood. Okay. Um. A couple of you guys. Shoot those orc raiders. Let's get you at the mountain guard. Alright, I think archers, you're off duty now. You're sort of done what you needed to. And I'd say we can probably get away with charging a few archers at them. Anything it takes to break their spirits completely. And that should indeed do it. They've even left their ladders. There is nothing left except what we have to defeat at the gate. Ah, hello there. That's a lucky fella there. Where is their general himself? Oh, there he is. The Mad Haddock. Standing right there. Getting stabbed over and over. The enemy general lies dead. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Yeah, I, I, I think we have done what we needed to. This is a clear victory. Woodland Sentinels. 401 kills. That would probably be the ones that were out on the gate from the beginning. They did an impressive amount of death today. And so life continues. Dane's Hall continues to be ours. And we can continue to train lovely troops there. In anticipation of the conflict to come. So welcome to 106 turn 106 that is oh hello there so carrying the ring is a heavy task on the other hand you're the only one capable to destroy it capable of destroying it surely I, I believe I pointed it out before anyway press accept if you wish to relinquish the one ring uh, and let us hide it or decline if you believe you can take the ring deep into Mordor and cast it in to Mount Doom to destroy it um Well, I suppose I will just ex uh, I will decline the mission and thus accept the mission. So, we have received 10,000 coins in cash and king's purse increases by 500. Oh, that's very nice of them. Um in order to destroy the One Ring, move the Ring Bearer into the region of Baradur and stay there until you find a way to throw it into the fiery chasm of Mount Doom, whence it came. And then uh, that from needs to go away. Anyway, source the White Council for the Woodland Realm. Okay. Now, uh, building a city in Dantala. Dantalet. Very nice. Um, ah, yes, that was uh, following the little uh, skirmish against the darkness himself, the Witch King of Angmar and Daugovar um, hmm Great Art Gallery, nice Armourer, nice Armourer first please and what else do we want? Valiant Castle Hall, yes, actually yes Valiant Castle Hall above all else almost so that we can get to those very delicious 
upper tier buildings. Hmm. Most places, most places are just doing what they should be doing, and uh, there is no reason to really halt any of their operations. I think I want better archers before I want stables. It takes about the same time, gives us sentinels, and those sentinels are wonderful. Flamsburg. An armorer? Yes, please. Sounds good. Now, hmm, stables, archery range, guard barracks. I want it all. And I want it now. Build a skilled house in Mount Golas. And then after that, we can spam out practice ranges, barracks, and stables rather quickly. I mean the fern can upgrade. Okay, well that means a city upgrade should happen. A tower feeling the same. Oh, good. Okay. Good archers coming here, coming there, coming well, a little bit everywhere actually. Oh. And some Elven King's bow guard. A wonderful unit it is. Very, very nice. So let's investigate our military possibilities in the north. We have two generals in Lego Doom. We have one here. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe we should get one general to Camelas. Either that or... No, 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 of course. Because we have a quest to take Barkeleg in five turns. And, uh, I mean, of course, we don't want to renege on that quite completely, do we? My Lord. It's not that far away. There's a potential open gate. And we just improved our spy. So, 80% chance of breaking in in the corner of my eye. How quickly can you get there? Four turns. I'm going to take you up on that offer. Do we have any cavalry here? Oh yes we do. Okay. And we have these. Over they go. Yes, and together all these forces, along with some of those in Lego Doom, they will be more than capable of taking on Barcheleg. Now, Borsakul. Do you need catapults? Maybe. Actually, something we will need is spies. We have spies in Flamsburg, and I don't think we'll need them there anymore. So. That's where they'll go. Do some retraining here, Elves. some retraining there. Yeah, we'll train everything. We don't have a spare general anywhere, do we? 
Not really. We have... Well, there's Norad in, in Legoland, but... Hmm... There are many differences out there. Not sure how keen I am on just taking him out of everything. Anyhow, let's go a bit further... Uh, a bit further south. So, Legolas has accepted the ring. And this has a couple of implications. One of which being... That he will have to conquer Elves. We must Elven warriors. Camelas. No, we'll have to uh, take troops out of Camelas, actually. It's going to be a militia garrison, which is a lovely thing. However, Follow me. we will need to sneak some forces Elves. For the light. away. My brothers. Over here, elves. So, Mount Golas. Low taxes, please. And then we're going to take out some troops. Elven we're going to take out... For the light. The... Uh, not necessarily all the best of them. But certainly some of the best of them. We don't have any... Garrison buildings, do we? No. We can send some basic troops down there for sure. I will take these three. Okay, so these are the forces that will hold Camelas after Legolas' departure. It should be doable. So, the militia garrison will do a bit. Then... What will we need? We can't upgrade the builders all completely. So waiting might just be the best thing anyway. <sighs> yeah, th this place is just so underdeveloped. But we'll get a barracks after the militia garrison. Helps corruption a bit. And we should have the influence in the region by then, to allow us. Yeah, to, to, to allow us to both then leave and to be able to recruit some new troops to Follow me. Uh, guard it and keep it safe and all those lovely things. Then most of the troops of Legolas' original army can be brought to bear against the defenders of Goblin Town. And who knows? Maybe some of those will be forced to leave anyhow for various reasons okay Avorian you go to Amon Lank these archers on horseback go to Amon Lank and so we come to Gelebrin and Mordor yes So, it's time to attack Boots. He's gotten a lot of defenders with him, but I'm not too afraid of them. We have Hinadawa that can handle the defenders. I mean, can practically kill most of them by themselves. We have Ents who can take care of trolls if they get too close. And until they get too close, we have Elder Council to use javelins against them, which they will not like. I say we have all it takes. So, boom, 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 quick save and smash. Fight to the end. We're clearing the way. We're clearing the way for our ring bearer. That's gonna be lovely. And until then, I salute you with my teacup. Start deployment, my friends. Start deployment. Who are we going to send in with the ram?
Hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll do something like this. This is a pretty powerful army. Lighter archers. Doop -de -doom. Cavalry. And our general can sort of go with team four. He seems to fit in with those people. So, are there people on the walls? Yes, there are. But perhaps not for long. Ah, they are Uruk archers. Because of course they are. Now, this is where one increases the screen brightness a little bit because we're at night and the game makes everything darker as a result. We're going to go with this gate. I think it's going to be slightly less of a headache to get troops where they need to go if we break down that particular one. And of course we want our Ents in a team too. Now imagine for a second if these minor gates were not there. If it were the Moranon itself that had to be moved. With this. Yeah, no, no, not happening. But, can you see this? Yovana has come for you. She calls you by name and says that she's very disappointed. Ooh. They're marching forth. With halberdiers and trolls. They've activated the tower. But unless they kill an Ent with one of those towers, I'm not going to be too concerned. And if we move our Ents over there, they should be alright. Yeah, I don't think we need to use arrows in that shameless of a manner. Okay. Getting in the javelins would be good. Today. Woodland Sentinels, to us grab that ram, and then once you have it, take out that gate. We are going to remove some trolls here today. Gate guard, remove the inner's room. Archers of Mirkwood, go for the gate. Because that's where we'll bring in the trolls. Watch for the enemy. 
Oh, they're just spreading out with the trolls in response to our volleys. Huh. Okay. You don't see them do that too often. That's fun. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. It's a bit of a weird situation. Very often when attacking the Black Gate, you come into a situation where the enemy will just refuse to even l entertain the notion of leaving behind their precious town square. But today, we have a far more diverse situation. It doesn't mean that the AI is thinking, but they have just diversified their non-thinking behavior into several categories at once. Which I suppose, I mean, that's, that's, uh, has a certain air of respectability about it. And the inner rim go down. I feel like our javelin ears needs to need to get a little bit closer in order to really make a difference here. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. So, time for Ents to go boom boom. Time for Archers to go zoom zoom. And time for putting el Elves on top of the Black Gate. Have you killed a single Olochai? No, you have not. Quite a pity, but it is what it is. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, team five. You are going to be trained on the Orc Defenders most of all. But that doesn't mean you can't have a little bit of target practice on the Olochai. Did we take? Yeah, yeah, we killed a couple of them. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now archers, get yourselves acquainted with those orcs over there in the distance. Okay, now. Okay, ants, get in there. Smash down some trolls. Because they're wreaking havoc on uh, 
all we hold dear. And no, I do not want the Elder Council to be subject to our bow spam. Okay. Um, Elven Urchers, do your thing. Time to uh, spam the bodyguard they have into oblivion. Did we kill the trolls? We killed the trolls. Very nice. Good. If we continue, the enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. All right then. Time to get these orc defenders a little bit of a rude awakening. Anything else coming? Oh yes, some orc archers over there. Yeah, they need to be shot. Now we're losing quite a few. Some have been to friendly fire. Some have been from just taking people away from where they probably shouldn't have been in the first place. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag. <laughs> just look at the death visited upon those guys. Oh my lord. It is not fun to be an orc archer today. Then there's a defender over there. Okay. Well, they're all sort of coming along at least. That makes it easy to just sit back and shoot them. Mm-hmm. Oh, we lost an elf. We lost an elf. I don't like losing elves. The wonderful thing about Ents is that they take a beating, so having them in there makes it that much less likely that you will lose anyone. I say let's bring up our sweet, sweet sentinels. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Because we have some folks that need some killing. Oh, no, we don't, actually. That's good. Alright, so how much did we heal? 18 Maitre de some gate guards, and some Elder Council. But we lost a lot of Elder Council, actually. You can see that in the ratings. There, 71. Ugh. But not as many to friendly fire as I had actually feared. Hmm, okay. Look at that, Hinnadour killing 500. They're monsters. They're monsters. And speaking of the monsters, uh, Ents, eh, pff, they were tanking more damage than they were dealing, apparently. But of course, they also helped kill the Ents, so that is intensely valuable, even though the numbers do not bear it out. But welcome, everybody, and now we own the Black Gate. Alright. They don't take ransom. Well, so... Down the Moranon goes. Down the Brawler's Pit goes. Oh, there's a Dominion Camp. Oh, we don't need that. Beast Cage? Pff, what Beast Cage? No, 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 no. We don't want any of that nonsense. It'll take a while to convert this place, though. Especially ones with our troops or spies unable to get in. But if we take a ceasefire with them, you know, small 5,000 some, that should be okay. Oh no, okay. You know what? Let's just do like this. Okay, good. Now let's see if they just bugger off. And if they don't, well... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So now we have... The Lego Gate. Boom. 
because Legolas is going to walk through that gate and straight to Mount Doom, and it's going to be pretty good. Uh, of course, first we need to get him through the mountains, but I don't think that will be a huge problem. We just need to lay the groundwork for his leaving. Arthonin is on it. <laughs> oh, Arthonin. Arthonin is on it. Okay. And at the same time, Barkaleg will fall. Good, 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 good. We have been accosted, and so we must get accustomed to the fact that, well, Lyag from Mordvatath, I believe I saw him five minutes ago, anyway, uh, that he will try to kill us. We won't let him though, we have the best archers in the game, and we have archer cavalry as well. I think we can deal with these, although they are, you know, plentiful. But that just means there's plenty to go around. We're standing on a field, on a hill. This probably couldn't be better, could it? No, I don't think it could. Well, I mean, maybe if we had sort of a, a cliff's edge from which we could just bombard the enemy incessantly. But ah, maybe that would be pushing it for good luck. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is we're simply going to make a lovely little bit of cover. Now, we, we want to face any melee troops on the hill. That's going to be... That, that's going to be the main thing here. And we want to cover our general pretty well. Because we don't want him to die. The point of all this is to get him to Lego Lad or <laughs> Callan Lass. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see about that name in the long run. But anyhow. Oh yeah, you can let your bows sing alright. Some of these guys will be on guard mode, some will be on skirmish mode, and the horse archers will be coming in from over here. Good, they can help counter some of that cavalry. Let's get a little bit of a volley fired upon those walks over there. Ah, there. We're already there. <laughs> okay, let's make sure we don't get javelined to death over here with the cavalry. We'll just make sure we get decently close so we can be in support roles. And we want to target that general of theirs at some point. But he's a bit too far away. Any other high value troops we can target? No, not really actually. We just want to shoot at whatever moves. And there's a lot that moves. Okay. Actually, we want to get some of these horse archers this way. And then we want them to attack the enemy over there. And they go straight for us here. Okay. Interesting. Nine cavalry left there. Fifteen left there. Oh, they it under pressure. Yeah, we're working on that. Okay. Our uh, tower are holding up fine. It's good luck that they're not targeting our general with that thing because they could do some serious damage. Um. Iron Crown Lumberman. Yeah, yeah, let's give them a little bit to think about. Maybe those Hillmen too. Which knights are in reach? Let's give it a bit of a general on general action. Okay. Cavalry, you need to be out of there. Their Ballister crew is not coming back. And so now, what we need to do is just hover around 
close to where the action is and exploit any discrepancies in their lines with cavalry charges. For instance, those hillmen over there. We can do some nasty stuff to them. Okay, they attack with Angmar infantry. Alright, what are the sentinels? You know what? Stay on guard mode. Ooh, Witch Knight's coming in. Ah, uh, not sure I want to do that. Okay. How are you doing over here? Ah, oh, the hillmen are basically gone. Good. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, Woodland Horse Archers, General, go for the Young Madam Infantry. And then we'll want to aid our sweet, sweet Sentinels. Quite good. What's this? Got my infantry? Ha! Ah, no longer. Oof! Seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings, does that just took much. half the witch knights away. At which point I become a happy beanie. Um. Charge there. Out of thirty. Clamp down on the Witch Knights, your access will be amazing. Look at that. Witch Knights just getting pummeled. Okay, Tawar, um, time to get you to fight the Longbows. You can do it. And you guys as well. Here we're dealing with the general. He's dead essentially. Those angry marches need to go. Everybody's fighting everywhere. Everybody's fighting everywhere. Everybody's fighting with axes and with swords. And soon they'll run with hands up in the air. Surely that general is going to die now. Surely. Good tidings. That's it. Now they should run away. All of them. But they don't because Iron Crown Longbowmen are serious units. But they will soon. Once they get charged from behind, there's no coming back from it. Beautiful. All right, that was that battle. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Of and with that, I think we'll have to end today's episode. So, on this hill, we fought and died and slayed. Be good to yourself. Be kind to others. Click all the buttons below, and I will see you soon.